OK, so this is the um, buttons that we're going to create now. Um, just read what this says. To create the rounded cornered rectangle, create a rectangle 1 mil by 4 mil, and then move the rectangle to the sort of midpoint there from the rectangle's edge to the quadrant point there. Um, then move it in to the right half a millimetre, and then fill it the corners by half a mil, and then trim out the bits that we don't want. So let's have a look at doing all that. And then it says fill it it. Um, then it says mirror it to the other side after that. Uh, so we'll just, there seems to be the rectangle seems to be missing there, but that's kind of what it is. So this is the basic uh, outline of the full steps. These are step by step to creating that thing. So back over to AutoCAD. And we start off by just making a rectangle anywhere. So it's 1, 4, enter. And then we want to pick this up from its midpoint. So select it first and then use the move tool. And then come into the midpoint there and we're going to come down to this quadrant point here now we don't get the quadrant point so either we click on this drop down and go to quadrant alternatively we can do this sort of on the move so i'll just reset this and use the move tool again pick that up from there now because i haven't got the quadrant point set i can shift and right click so hold the shift key down right click the mouse and then you get this one-off hit for the snap setting that you want so it's positioned there then we select it again and click on move and just move it in so click on anywhere on the screen it doesn't have to be on the object but as long as we're tracking uh, to the right and that's um, horizontally and then enter 0.5 enter that's going to move it to that position now we need to use the fillet tool and we choose the fillet tool this is the fillet tool here there's a fillet and the chamfer and the blend curves. So we'll click on the fillet. And the first thing the fillet's going to ask us, they want us to specify a radius, really. So we have to hit the drop arrow. Alternatively, we can choose the fillet and right click and then go radius. That might be a preferred method. Always you get the context of each tool sitting in between these sort of lines in the middle of the right click menu. So choose radius. Specify the radius and that's 0.5. You've got to tell. Uh, AutoCAD everything so 0.5 enter and then it'll allow us to click on one line and click on another line and you can see it forming that radius that's kind of what we want to happen so click there and there what happens with the radius unless you tell it otherwise it's kind of a one hit shot so you just have to sort of hit enter again now the if you look down the bottom on the command line we've got current radius mode trim radius 0.5 so all I'm going to do is click there and there again. That's going to do the same thing to the other. The mode trim means that um, it chops off this bit. You can set the mode to no trim, which means it'll keep the radius and the existing corner. Okay, so that's something you would uh, be useful remembering. Um, now, you need to trim this out. So we're going to do that by using the trim tool. Uh, this is one that gets everybody, but uh, just trim and extend. They both work uh, together so trim now what I'm going to do is just hit enter okay not selecting any object by hitting enter it means that I can just click on various lines and you see that little negative sign that's going to uh, that little red cross that means it's going to be erased from our selection okay and it'll always trim to something if it's something joining it um, it'll trim out if there's nothing I can't trim this simply because there's nothing to trim to. If I drew a line in between that, then I could trim either to this side or to that side. Uh, this will trim because it'll trim to the next bit or trim to that bit. And every time you sort of hover over something, it's going to tell you what bit is going to trim out. But if I trim this bit out and that bit out, then I couldn't trim this because there's nothing to trim it to. Control Z, Control Z. That allows me to get back to that point. And then I'm going to marquee select that choose my mirror tool this one and then click on anywhere on the midpoint now I might as well choose the center of this that's going to be the midpoint going vertically up or down and if I move my mouse vertically up on that tracking line and then click and then it's asking me to erase the source objects no I don't want to do that which is set by default just hit enter and then that means that I've copied that bit to there the next bit is going to 
allow us to create this. Now this has to be created at a angle of 60 degrees. Okay, so this is something we need to create first and then uh, position it's because we're going to be positioning this box at that point there. I'm going to do trimming out these bits and we're going to extend these lines in. So it's a slightly different way of doing something. It's a slightly complicated little thing, but it just gives you an option, um, gives you the opportunity to just explore a couple of other sort of modify commands within side of AutoCAD. So first of all, we're going to draw our line from the midpoint or the center of everything to uh, anywhere outside here. But as long as it's going through at 60 degrees, then that's fine. And then we'll create this and we can rotate this through 30 degrees so it's perpendicular to this and then we'll position it at that point and then we can carry on doing the rest. So line tool, now we're going to use this to help us. So if we click on that drop down and we'll choose 30, 60, 90, 120. So that's going to give us the opportunity to draw a line and it'll snap to this point, which is where we want. This is 30 degrees or 60 degrees. Okay, 30, 60. It's reading it from this line here. So horizontally, then it reads it round in an arc, sort of in a anti-clockwise direction. But because we've got every 30 degrees angle snap set, then 30, 60, all these guides uh, help us to position these things. Now I know it's there, not there. So it is 30 degrees. So just be careful about some of these things. And click, and you've set that. So now we need to create a rectangle. And the rectangle, if I just remind myself, is one and a half by three mil. And we need to rotate it then. So specify start point, 1.5 comma three, enter. And then we can rotate this thing. Now, because we've got our 3060, then we just bring it around and it's gonna snap to that direction. Okay, so what I did was chose the object then chose rotate, then clicked on the corner point there. It doesn't matter, I could click anywhere, but I'm clicking on the corner point. That's the first point, and then I click on the second point, which is going to be the rotation angle of 30 degrees. So that's going to make it align with this perpendicular to the uh, tangent or the intersection at that point there. So now we're going to move this into position. So again, select the object, move, and then hit the midpoint. And let's zoom in a bit and snap to that intersect point. Okay, you can see the little red uh, green cross that's intersecting. So now we've got that. I can delete this. So select and delete. The radius of these is 0.5 again. But notice this time we need to extend these lines and remove this one. So let's choose our fillet tool. And if we want to do more than one at a time, we can hit the down arrow and choose multiple. Or we can right click and choose multiple. That means we don't have to set this each time. So multiple, click, 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 right click and enter. And then we can extend. So we choose the extend tool. And again, just hit enter. And then we click on that. Oh, it's not going to allow us to extend because this needs basically to be exploded first. So if we select it and then explode it, and then we can select this line and delete it. I didn't know whether it was going to do that or not, but uh, it doesn't anyway. Um, and then we go back to our extend tool, hit enter, and then extend that to there, and extend that to there. So that's that done. Now this is three bits. So we'll just marquee select around. So we've got all these bits. These things here are just the uh, center points of the arc. And then we can mirror. And we'll mirror first around the horizontal axis. So click, enter, and then we can select that one. You don't have to hold any buttons down on this program to uh, add to the selection. And then we can mirror around the vertical. And there you go. They're all the buttons put in. So that takes us up to page eight, where we're going to put in the strap holder, and then we can add the strap for our final bit.